What's going on everybody? Chris here, Board Hulk Studios, and we are back with some more Euro Truck Simulator 2. This time we are on the multiplayer server. Luckily this is a no collision area, and we're going to head out and go pick up our first deliver our first our delivery today we're gonna be heading over somewhere GPS will tell us where we're going in the map Let's see if, is this the place oh yes we were already there <laughs> we're gonna be taking this cement right here to Duisburg I think that's the name of it I uh, if you've watched the previous videos, you guys already know I'm terrible at pronouncing these European names. No clue. But, looking at this, this is what, 11,000 uh, euro. So this will be profitable to us. We're going to take the cement, that's 25 tons of cement. We are in Mets, right? Yeah, we're in Mets. So I'm just writing this down. Mets to Alright, uh, I didn't check to see where we're at with our uh sleeping, so we're clearly gonna have to do that. So let me check something right here. Next rest up in twenty hours. In three hours, fifty-five minutes. So, let's back on up. Turn it around. Just made it. A oh, frame race dropped on that one for a little bit. Not a big fan when he does that. So. I believe this is our truck right here, the cement truck. So... Let's back it on up. And... Line it up as best as we can. Hook it up. And be on our merry way. It out a little slow here. Don't want to crash right as we start this job. Throw on the lights. Yeah, so as you can see in the top right hand corner, no collision area, shows that I am playing on the multiplayer server. So collisions will not count, I guess, in this. Or it doesn't really count over in these sections, so... Now that we have left, we have to... We have to be aware of our surroundings. Because you do not want to crash and get banned. Lights. Lights were out. It's, I think the winter mod is on. That might be why these lights are blinking, letting us know and caution to drive slow. Oh, the name looked familiar. That might have been one of the people for the virtual trucking company that I am in Polar Bear Johnny. Suits him in this winter mod, that's for sure. So we're just gonna build up a little speed and head on out of the city. Not too much speed, obviously. We're on a 31 mile per hour speed limit over here. So we just don't wanna red zone it too much. 
Yeah. Not much to talk about. Friday. I'm recording this. It's a Friday. Probably be up later on tonight. It depends. The high beam's off. Friday. End of the work week for me. Time for the weekend, which always goes by way too quick. But I gotta make sure we're going out right. Nice relaxing, getting a good drive in. I just realized it wasn't even anywhere near. So the speed limits popped up to 56. It's inching our way up there. So, as always, try to do a little better driving this go around. I'm pretty sure this is a pull off, so I'm gonna get over. Luckily, there seems to be no one here right now at this moment. And I can't even tell. I, I just reinstalled or upgraded the uh, multiplayer. And I have no idea where the lines are in the road other than the tires which I'm not even sure if those are going to be helpful I have no idea what lane I'm actually in and then I, oh, you know what I am going to pull over here I'm going to take the rest now because I oh, the thing is I'm going to take the rest now because I don't want to get distracted and I crashed I thought I was hitting the brake I was not hitting the brake and I crashed so hmm, off to a great start <laughs> uh, I'm still getting used to my uh, my buttons on my controller I remapped them because I had an issue for some reason when I restarted playing this game. Oh crap. I had an issue in my buttons the way they were originally set up were not working. I could not figure out why. Still actually have no idea why that was, but it is fixed and I have a feeling my shift up and down are in reverse to where they used to be. Uh, if you're thinking of, say, uh, Xbox controller, right now my throttle and brake are the triggers and my shift up and down are the buttons. I have a sneaky suspicion that my throttle used to be the buttons and my shifting used to be the triggers. But I am too lazy at the current moment to switch them and see how that feels. But running in accents like that definitely going to make me switch a lot faster. And also not being able to see in these conditions. The snow is blending in pretty well with the ground and the lights. So I am. I'm just going off of the path here as to what I'm supposed to be in, what lane I'm supposed to be in, I guess, would be the proper way to express that. And I'm still having a bad time with that. At least it's not raining. See, and I should have known that that was going to be a turn off. these conditions I'm probably only gonna get it up to 50 and try to hover around that speed I don't want to really hit 56 I don't want to go out of control and I can see we're coming up on a turn off so it's probably not even necessary to pop her up to 56 quite yet <laughs> yeah see we're gonna drop back down to 47 we're gonna come here and drop gears kind of look out Turn it over, hopefully. 
hopefully no one's coming. Yeah, there we go. Kind of took that turn just a little bit wider than I wanted to. <laughs> ah, excuse me, a little stuffy. Yeah, I can definitely feel by my current like hand position on this controller that my buttons were probably reversed the last time I was playing this because it just doesn't feel natural the way they are right now as opposed to the way they used to be or as I remember how they used to be for all I know I can still be wrong on that one but it's just not as comfortable so probably before I do the next delivery I'm going to change this layout and see if it works a little better for me next time. Still in whiteout condition, slowing down, checking. Don't want to pop over that medium. And we're going to be heading right back out of the city. Continuing this drive, so Let's get on over. such conditions. 47 just doesn't seem safe. I'm going 39, 40 right now and even then I feel like I'm going way too far across the lines. Probably a slip and flip it over. So I can only imagine 47 being crazy. Let me over here. Get ready to switch it a little bit. Yep. Luckily like I said, no one seems to be out here right now, so not too much traffic. No one to smash front in and be banned. Uh, even though 47 seems pretty high for the conditions, I'm glad it's not 50 or 55, 57. Happy just cruising along at this pace. So yeah, what's going on in the Boardhawk Studios life? Well, uh, stupid frame rates. Jay has got some new videos coming up on his separate channel. I'll obviously leave a link in the description for Omega Knight Jay. He's got some new Call of Duty videos coming up. I've got some more Thief gameplay coming up soon. And South Park. Stick of Truth. Where the new kid continues his quest to become the greatness. And what else we got going on? Mm, we have... Oh, should I get some gas? Mm, I think I'm good on gas. Uh, the new Boardhawk Studios website is under construction at the moment, but we plan on going live soon. Got some kinks to work out in our final layout design we're still going over. But that should be coming up soon, hopefully. Hopefully not too much more coding going in on that one. Uh, I myself are going on a big road trip in a few weeks gonna be heading south. Uh, you may not know. I'm in New York, but I'm gonna be heading south to Georgia.
for a little mini vacation. So, looking forward to that road trip right there. Uh, one reason I play these sims is to drive, but uh, driving in real life is just as fun for me. Getting out on the open road and just cruising. Though, not as good when you hit traffic, <laughs> which I always seem to hit the rush hour traffic. Usually around the time I get to DC and Virginia, I always seem to catch the crowd that's going home. Probably based on the time that I leave. I usually leave pretty early in the morning when driving down there, five, six o'clock in the morning. So usually when I get around to those spots, I'm creeping up on that evening rush hour. Unfortunately, due to probably weather conditions, I won't be able to take the road I usually go on, which is through the Appalachian Mountains, because those are some beautiful sights to, when you're driving through those mountains, just the sights that are just incredible. But uh, I don't want to drive those in like the snowy, icy conditions, which I'm pretty sure this time of year that they're still in. So that sucks, but probably I'll make a summer trip. I'll do that. Hopefully a summer trip won't be a trip, it'll be permanent. Looking to move down that way soon. As soon as possible. Still trying to line up a job before I make that leap. And I'm too over, but uh, I, don't s I don't see anyone coming out. I don't see any speed cameras out here, so... I will deal with the two three mile uh, over the speed limit on this. <laughs> Though, like I was saying earlier, look at these roads, snow covered. It's probably not the safest thing to do. But as you see, it's dipping as we go up and down the hills. So, with no one out here, I think we'll be alright. Yeah, but it was one of the things I love doing is driving, so this trip isn't... Ooh, imagine if we got the truck all off the air on that one. Bandit style. Yeah, but get go on this trip. Uh, not deal with frame rates. Get to see some family, friends, loved ones. out with Jay, my brother, who's down in Georgia. That's his residence. Uh, get out there and do what we do best. Hang out, chill, fish, grill. Not necessarily in that order. But that's the gist of what we do every time we get together. Unless we're shooting a movie. <laughs> Then it's work, 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 work. Grill. Okay. I thought this was happening. I was gonna get enough juice coming up that hill. Okay. Luckily, I guess it's not that bad, so. I've been in that situation driving in Africa and the truck just stalls out on me and I got nowhere to go. And after eventually making it up the hill and finishing my delivery, going and checking online on how to solve that problem, learning different techniques, like putting it in neutral and revving up and shooting it to first, which has actually worked for me in the past. I'm going to say we're still good on gas, though, so I'm not going to get any gas. We got enough gas to last. Where are we? Probably makes sense to get over. Now, albeit this would probably be a little bit more exciting on the regular Euro Truck Simulator, not the multiplayer mod, just because you'd have more AI around. But, you know what, I don't mind. I don't mind at all driving. Plus
plus, at least with the multiplayer mod, I got this, the snow mod, which came included with the installation. Something different. I've, I've never actually tried that mod before. And in the past iterations of the multiplayer mod, the, the, the option's been there to install the winter mod, but I've never actually done it until now. Showing some love to the other truckers out on the server. They always just honk at each other. Since it seems to be so rare that we come across each other on the server. Then again, I think it depends on the time of day that you're actually out on the server because there have been times where you can barely get into a port because there's so many people on the server and you're waiting in line for an hour and a half as the trucks slowly go by. Yeah, I can only imagine what kind of what that would be like in an actual traffic situation. I'd probably be pulling what hair I have out, pulling my beard out, shouting all sorts of obscenities out the window. Whereas I'm pretty sure you can imagine doing that still on the server if you got like 300 guys trying to all go to the same port. Yeah. Dude, budge. You can make it up this hill. You can do it. Actually, what I'm going to try, probably after I finish this video, try to install some new stuff to use outside of the multiplayer mod, just on the regular game. And if it works, I'll post some pictures. If not, then. You'll never hear about it again until I actually get it to work. Well, I think I'm on the European server. That's usually the default I go to, so that's probably why there are not a lot of people on at this time. Yeah, I should have checked maybe beforehand and saw how many people are on, saw how many people are on what server and picked it that way, but. Uh, generally, I always just hop right on the European server. Duisburg? I see that sign. Still two hours out. Duisburg and Dusseldorf. For a second there, it dropped off and it was telling me to go the other direction. This is also why cruise control is a little bit of a bitch in this game. Kind of slide a little bit all over the place. I can't tell if I saw, saw another truck up there. The last thing I want to do is slide off the road with a truck sitting on the side. Saw some lights, but probably just lights from the sign right here. Let's get over because we're not going to be taking that exit that's coming up. We're going to be going straight and going in my loop de loop, as I call it. One thing that I do actually like about this 
over some other other simulators that I play. For instance, this would have been a 254 mile journey, I believe is what they said, running at about five hours. Clearly, I would not record a five hour video on YouTube for this. The suppression rate, or however long, you know, they suppress it to, so we're down to an hour. Even then, it's not going to be that long a video. It'll probably be like a 30, 30 full. Uh, someone crashed. So, we're, we're going to just pull up here and wait and see what's going to happen. This is actually the first time I've encountered this. He's either fallen asleep at the wheel and he's uh... I don't want to crash into this guy here yeah we're, we're kind of uh stuck at his mercy because we can't move until he moves yeah. so you can see my trailer is actually pulling me back a little bit I'm gonna put on the parking brake cuz you pretty much gotta wait for this guy to get the hell out the way so I'm not gonna honk him yet I don't know if he fell asleep at the wheel and just crashed and ended up like this kind of got a delivery to make. Pretty sure we could have figured out how to. I don't want to go all the way back and then drive on the wrong side just to pass this guy. <coughs> Excuse me. Something caught my throat for a second. Yeah. I mean, this guy's kind of falling asleep at the wheel. probably figure out how to get a mod over here to move him out the way, kick him, do something. Mm, that's the console. Mm, that's not it. Yeah, he's pretty much, as you can see, we're at his mercy, we're both waiting for this guy. We're waiting for him to get out the way. Auxiliary lights and the beacon. 
Okay, this one had to get the hell out of the way. Kind of blinding it now with that one. Sorry, you guys gotta hear that, but this guy is not moving. He's pretty much blocked us the hell in. And there's nothing we can do. Because if either one of us actually ran into him, that would cause us damage. We could potentially get kicked, and I got 17 hours to make this delivery. Hour and a half out, so I've got a little bit of time, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I want to sit here and wait. So. Somebody come up near us. So. Ah, thank you. We were all <laughs> waiting to get that out of there and I don't know how that guy ended up I don't know if he got booted they used to tell you like in the bottom corner if someone got booted or whatnot I don't see those messages now but get my mirror back up to friendly goodbye. We shared a moment, that trucker and I, as we sat there waiting for the other guy. And lo and behold, he got kicked. And now we can go back on our journey. Get some speed up and that cruise control. <clears throat> yeah, that that's really strange. I've actually never seen that before. And the only thing I can imagine is that that guy passed out, crashed, and did not wake up. And I can tell you from experience, there have been times where I've been playing this game and I've uh, driven way too long and ended up passing out at the wheel and waking up on the side of the road. Delivery missed and whatnot. And it happens. It's just terrible to happen <laughs> on a multiplayer server. Especially in that predicament right there where you're just blocking everybody's way. I'm sure the guy didn't mean to be a D-bag about it, but it happens. Can't fault him for that. I mean, you could. Clearly, we did blowing our horns at him, but... Eh, funny little story. Get a chuckle out of it. Two chuckles, exactly. No more than two. Because like traffic in this game, after a while it starts to get annoying. Especially when you're so close to your destination. You know, being an hour and a half out, which drops us down to 50 minutes now. We've actually, in theory, be rolling up in our final destination, getting ready to end this video. So if this video is too long, blame that D-bag who blocked the entire intersection highway. Caution lights because of the snow. It will probably just make it. We got just enough fuel, petro, to get us to our journey. So I got seven damage. We're gonna have to fix that next. But we got enough petro to get us to where we need to go. That's really cool. I've never seen those before out 
mini. At least I haven't got a speeding ticket so far in this run. So I've got that going for me. And the lack of rain. That's also a good thing for me. Bad thing? Dark. And if you've seen the first video in this series, terrible night driver, i.e. terrible driver parking at night. Friendly hello and goodbye to another trucker. Coming up on our final destination. 20 minutes out. 12 miles. I'm pretty sure I can go a lot faster than 20 minutes and 12 miles. That's just me. Get out of the snow and warm up with some hot chocolate or a beer or some Jack Daniels. Probably some Jack Daniels. Maybe some hot chocolate and Jack Daniels. Yeah. That sounds like the great combination. Hot chocolate and Jack Daniels. Just made that turn. Destination on the map coming up. Still got a good amount of fuel left. 791 miles. A rough estimate of fuel. So, some highway driving. Probably got enough fuel to do another short trip. But, I don't know. I might get gas, fuel, petro, diesel before our heading out of this town on my next run. I haven't decided yet. And essentially, if I come back out this way, then I probably will get some diesel before we head out. This going to take it slow coming up in town never know especially with these narrow roads if there might be another driver out here so I'm gonna just rock it at 23 in hope that those frame rates don't kill the last of this video along with those super bright lights I feel like I'm actually driving right now Trusty sidekick. <laughs> Don't see anyone down there. There's a truck over, a couple of truckers over there. opposite direction though. I think yes, this is where we're going. I'm gonna drive it out and straighten it. this to park because hey, I am bad at it and I am not ashamed to admit it
get it. Straighten the wheel, straighten the wheel, and back her up. Uh, good enough for me. Successful. Despite our earlier crash, which only affected our truck, not our cargo, I'd say decent haul. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, like, comment, subscribe. Go check out Jay's channel. You guys have a great night. Peace.